If you go back far enough in time, almost every state within the U.S. contains an ancient volcano. One of these ancient volcanoes is located within the state of Arkansas, and the reason this one is especially noteworthy is due to the fact you can legally collect diamonds there. You heard that correctly. The volcano I'm referring to is known as Crater of Diamonds, being located within the Crater of Diamonds State Park. The Crater of Diamonds State Park and its associate extinct volcanic vent can be found in southwestern Arkansas, where it is two and a half miles south-southeast of the city of Murfreesboro. It may be difficult to tell today, but this very site once contained a 2,200-foot-wide volcanic crater known as a tuff ring, which may have even contained a small lake at one point. The diamonds within this crater formed long before the eruption which carried them to the surface. 3.2 billion years ago, Earth looked like a completely alien planet as it had an orange sky, purple oceans, no plants, no animals, no complex life, and the process of plate tectonics may have only recently started. At the time, the area where Arkansas is today contained a piece of crust at the interior of an ancient continent which was unusually thick and cold, being known as a craton. Underneath this craton was a matching piece of unusually thick mantle lithosphere which contained abundant carbon in its elemental form. At higher levels and lower pressure in the mantle, this carbon crystallized into a mineral called graphite which is today still used in pencils. But, as we travel deeper into the lithosphere, the temperature and pressure these graphites experience continue to increase until finally it reached a point at 150 to 250 kilometers or 93 to 155 miles depth where it rearranged itself into a better structure for those conditions, becoming the hardest mineral on Earth, diamond. Across the next 3.1 billion years, this thick lithosphere along with its diamonds remained underneath Arkansas. Then, 106 million years ago, as dinosaurs roamed the landscape, something changed. Much of Arkansas was broadly uplifted over millions of years by the same mantle hotspot which would eventually go on to create the island of Bermuda. As the overlying crust slowly moved to the west-northwest, the Bermuda hotspot injected large amounts of molten rock upwards. Some of this magma had a highly unusual composition, having a very low silica content, high amounts of alkali elements, but most importantly, an absurdly high gas content. As a batch of magma began rising, the gas within it began to expand, propelling the material upwards at a speed of 100 miles per hour. When this magma hit the lower lithosphere, it melted some of the hardened rock, causing 3.2 billion year old diamonds contained within to become loose and then be carried upwards. 48 minutes later, this magma reached the brittle crust, generating hundreds of earthquakes in rapid succession. Finally, 8 minutes later, the magma reached the surface. There, it quickly interacted with a volume of groundwater, causing it to rapidly flash to steam, build in pressure, and explode upwards. As a 2,200-foot-wide section of ground exploded upwards, a towering eruption column was generated, which rapidly shot upwards beyond 80,000 feet into the atmosphere. As this occurred, pyroclastic flows raced across the landscape in all directions, incinerating everything within a four-mile radius. As large amounts of pulverized rock and lava fell across the landscape, the diamonds carried within them also fell, largely back into the crater which had just formed. The material subsequently cooled and solidified within the tuff ring which had formed. Since then, approximately 160 feet in elevation of the original vent has eroded away. Since diamond is the hardest known mineral, when the rest of the rock eroded away into fine particles, the diamond largely remained in crystalline form. Today, these diamonds can be found in dirt in and surrounding this volcanic complex, with what you are looking for being a white, yellow, or brown crystal which has a bipyramidal or cubic shape. If you find a small crystal with that shape, then you have likely found a diamond. Very few of the diamonds found within the park are more than a carat in weight, which translates to one-fifth of a gram. However, on occasion, this famous park has made the news after a lucky visitor finds a larger diamond weighing up to 10 carats. I recommend that you try your luck at this park as even young children can successfully find a diamond if they are lucky enough.